everybody, and welcome to Park Del Forum here in Barcelona. This is the Imagine Extreme Barcelona. We are getting down to the wire. I got to tell you, it's been fantastic this weekend. The weather couldn't have been better. Last year we had rain. It's been stellar this weekend, and today we are getting into the men's scooter park finals here. This is the ISA scooter final. Happy to have Scooter Brad with us, and this is going to be an amazing show. First of all, thank you guys so much for having me here. My name is Scooter Brad, if you had not heard correctly. It's my second year consecutively announcing the Imagine Extreme Barcelona ISA World Final for the scooter community. So big shout out to scootering. This competition is just going to be insane. I have no idea who's going to be taking it out today. Well, we got a few big names in there, but I noticed that the graphic said eight riders, but in fact, it's going to be 12 riders. There's actually, yes, going yeah. to be 12 riders. We have... Many riders from all over the place. Australia, USA, Great Britain, Czech Republic. Estonia. Estonia. Rumit Salik, the number one qualifier. It is in reverse order. He came out in the semis yesterday and absolutely crushed it. I know Jordan he's holding Clark. back a lot of moves for the finals. You have the past two-time world champ on screen right now, Jordan Clark. Yep. Leo Spencer also featured in the world finals last year. A lot of familiar faces. You got Dante Hudson, the returning world champion. A few fresh faces, like here we have Chris Farris, representing District. A great guy, a great friend. Why does the name Cody Flom stick out to me? Cody Flom, last year, a lot of front flip combos on the big box jump. He absolutely crushed it last year. He did quite well. I think he came sixth overall last year. So another familiar face. Rumet again in the finals this year. And the favorite to win at this point. Well, we saw some insanity last year on a, I would say, a bit of a strange built park. Yes. This is a more of a traditionally built park, and it's big. Yeah. Let's talk about this a little bit and what we're going to see out there from these guys. The park this year, I like it a lot more than I think a lot of people did last year. Last year, we had the renders of the park before it was built, and they had the spine facing the wrong way to the box jump, which was really strange. So everybody <laughs> turned up, and they're like, hmm, okay. how am I going to be hitting this box jump? But now they've got a nice spine where you can hit the box jump, or there's the big island in the center, which is actually going to be hit by quite a lot of riders, like I'm telling you now. But the box jump is a little bit smaller than the one last year, much more of a mellow landing, so I'm sure that the box combinations this year are going to be out of this world, like they were last, but I feel like there'll be less stacks on that particular box jump. The things that riders are really having to watch out for this year is the step up in the far left corner, and I would say the island. If you can hit the island, big ups to you. The rail sticks out as well. Not many people have been hitting it, but it is there, and it's there to be utilized. Got a couple of young guns in the mix as well. Spencer Chermside, who will be our first rider out, just 16 years of age. A uh, couple of notches down from him in the age category. John Marco Gatos from uh, Brick, New Jersey in the States, 15. And the youngest rider today, David Senkier from the Czech Republic, 14 years old. David Sinkia, big ups to him, man. I saw him come out in the qualified doing a really interesting trick. You'll probably see it in his run. It's an untwist full to kickless rewind. It's pretty crazy. You got Jordan on screen, ex two-time world champion. Can he bring the championship back to England? However, taking it off Dante Hutchinson, the previous world finals winner, we will find out today at Imagine Extreme. So there was Sinkia on the, on the far left there representing grit one of the riders i actually had not heard of until this weekend so he's out here making a name for himself you got in the center and the teal tristan anderman representing ao alongside teammate dylan morrison an ultimate legend and a frequent qualifier for the world finals he's here quite often other than that we have chris farris like i mentioned straight out of uh, the usa john marco gatos is back again seeing a lot more riders out of the states we uh traditionally see more scooter riders coming from Europe and Australia, but uh, it's cool to see a lot more riders from the Americans States getting Americans are stepping it up. Out. So, Spencer Chermside, we're going to kick off the competition in the next coming moments. Spencer Chermside, representing Apex Pro Scooters, about to drop in for his World Finals run. 55 seconds on the clock. Triple kickless on the spine transfer. Straight into a flip, triple finger on the box jump. Backside air. Straight over the island with a 360, gone backside. Super smooth. Absolutely. He floated right across that island, no trouble at all. Flair Bossman to back it up. Coming back down the step down, across the island hip. <sighs> My goodness, Bryflip deck grab to whip. 
throwing it back down with ease, foot planting the vert wall, coming back through, gaining some speed up next to the rail, going back to the quarters. Just front side stalling at the top, dropping in, going over to the other box section. Straight airing the first and going for the step down backwards. Wow. Oh, over jumping it and going down heavily. He let me know in practice that he actually did that earlier as well. That box jump. I told you the far left, it, you got to watch out for it. It's a if you side. overcook it backwards, you're going to go flat and it's not going to feel good. All right. Spencer coming out of Mannering Park, which I quite appreciate. <laughs> My goodness. He started it off very strong with that triple kickless. Absolutely caught it. Kept that speed going into his box jump trick. Here is the Bryflick, the Bryflick deck grab to whip. So hard to call these overheads. Next up, Jaden Stanley representing Maggear, the inventor of the Stanley flip. Now, you're going to like this. Just trust I'm me. I'm like, what on a lot mm -hmm. of these tricks? That's what I'm honestly. saying. So this one's going to be like, okay, I don't know what that was. Spencer Chermside coming in with a 54.67. The first run score here today. Remember, he's going to come out for a second run. Jaden Stanley. Red Bank Plains, Australia, dropping in. 19 years of age, coming through the spine. Boss spin, double whip, boss spin for his first trick. Over the box jump, quad tail whip, wiggling the legs a little bit there. Triple boss spin, air, no dead backsides here. Flowing across the island, he's going to go up the bank, straight into, watch this, Stanley flip whip, <laughs> air, oh my goodness. He no did a Cross foot, an inside foot plant, fast plant front flip, never seen before in my life. 540 flare to back it up. He is going strong. 25 seconds left remaining on the clock for Jaden Stanley as he comes through for a flail on the quarter pipe. Stanley's crushing. almost like a body varial in the flare. It, it's yeah, crazy. It, actually it is. He just leaves the deck behind and just flips around with that. And no worries. Bry flip, double whip on the quarter pipe after hitting the step back. Kickless rewind. With three seconds left, he's going to put one more air trick in there, and then he is done for the day. Whip front scoot, Jaden Stanley. That was something to contend with. Jesus. A flawless Stanley flip air. I think he could have improved on the first box jump trick, but there is no doubt in my mind that that's a very high scoring run. Here it, Here is. it is again. It's pretty much a flare inward to whip, but he just leaves the scoot behind, man. In uh, freestyle motocross, that would be a special flip. A special flip. 76 points for Jaden Stanley. Okay, run one score. Given what we saw, would you think that's fair? I think so. I think it could have been maybe somewhere in the 80s. However, comma. <laughs> yeah. There yeah. may be more. However, comma is the key right there. Representing lucky scooters, John Marco Gatos, straight out the east. The king of the east, they call him, dropping in. He's going straight over to the box section, 360 tail whip, hitting that step down with a foot plant. Big wow. backside Huge flare. He back set himself flare. up for the step up. Just clearing it up there. Not many people are going to be hitting the step up that way. I'm telling you right now. Kickless whip straight into a flare tail whip. Coming back through the park. He jumps into the Imagine Extreme Bank. Straight into the vert wall. Hand planting right at the top there. Straight on the coping. Box jump backwards. Just dropping the foot there. Would have liked to have that a little bit more clean. Backside boss in air as he goes on the back of the spine, flare triple tail whip on the back of the spine. Another backside boss spin air as he goes over the spine with a whip rewind triple into the box jump. 360 inward kickless oh, rewind. Unbelievable. Straight to the whip, but a whip. This is nonstop. Double finger out, and that is time. He's going to give it up. John Marco Gatos, everybody. That was My some goodness. serious organization right now that there. That right there, that is what you call a coached run. This guy studies the park. He writes down his stuff. Him and his dad, they go through it. They work very hard on planning out for the competitions, and it shows. You can't make a mistake then, though. Look at this flare. Mistake. Look at this backside flare. Huge. That's massive. That's a good two and a half meters up. Absolutely massive. Here's the 360 inward kick kick list. Absolutely clutched it. Looking good. Next up. The defending champion, it's Dante Hutchinson, straight out of Eastbourne, one of my favorite locations of the UK. He's starting up the top of the vert wall, and he's coming out here to defend his championship title. And I'm didn't excited they, to see what he's got done today. Didn't they throw him up and down in, uh, in last year's celebration? They did. <laughs> they were tossing him up and down. Now, this, this run's going to be so hard to commandeer because... 
His tricks are just crazy. Straight up the step up. Oh. I think it was a bar twist, kickless. Cash roll, the second box. Absolutely clutch for a second trick. Flair downhill on the third. Bar spinning down the bank, packing in those tricks. He's getting that speed, getting that flow. Backside wall ride on the wall ride as he comes back across the park, pumping across the island hip. Fast plant, front flip, up the step up with 30 seconds left on the clock. Dropping into the quarter. He's going over the spine. My goodness, whip oh, kick bright, down, whip though. rewind by the looks of it. 20 seconds left. He's going to try to get that in his second run, but it looks like he might have taken a bit of a bruising just then. Definitely feeling the pain at this point. He's coming back into the island. Kickless rewind, super clutch. Straight into a huge Mac flip air. Getting those air style points too. Getting that hang time. Getting that amplitude to make up for his mistake. Dante Hutchinson. Looking at the replay, it was indeed a bar twist to kickless rewind. And then check the cash roll. My God. Such a blind trick to spot. That island is super big too to jump. And then the amplitude on the Mac flip. He spots it right above his head and he just knows where, right where it's going. Feet on, roll away. That's how he does it. Next up. All right, the young gun, David Sink here from the Czech Republic, 14 years of age. Big respect to him. Being the youngest competitor is never easy, but he's going to earn his respect out here, no doubt. David Sinkier representing Grit Scooters. He's dropping in straight to the spine. Here's that weird trick. Untwist full kickless rewind first try. Got the capron flip to whip. That's a finger whip to buttercup late whip. The flip drop. Clean <laughs> and consistent. Very nice. 40 seconds remaining on the clock as he goes for the 540 flare. Shaking the building down. So much technicality in these runs, it's insane. I can't even keep up with the it. The bar spin tail whip, bar spin straight into the flare bar spin. He's got very good flow in this run. I like his direction here. Ooh, what was that? What was that front side 180 to inside hand plant? Going one way and then just bouncing back the other. Must have had a lot of upper body strength to perform that stunt. Ten, Ten seconds. seconds. Jinx. You let me have it. <laughs> I let you have it. <laughs> the step down. He makes, ooh, oh. makes it off just before the buzzer too. Will he be penalized for this mistake? We are not sure. However, a very, very, very solid run from such a youngster out here today at Imagine Extreme. Here is the Capron Whip. Capron Flip late. So it's like a finger whip to bry to whip to whip. So many tricks packed into the one simple jump in scootering. It's so hard to keep up with these riders. They are absolutely on another planet. David Sink here coming through with a 71.67. 71. Just higher than Dante's run. Third place for him at the moment. So uh, he's going to be very happy with that, no yeah. doubt. Now here's one of the more unique riders. I was on tour with this man about a month ago. Tristan Anderman representing AO Scooters. Triple bar spin over the spine. Here's the flip tip on into Tuck No Hander. Super stylish. Huge backside Benihana air as he comes through the box backwards. Suicide Tuck No Hander. No knees around the bar. Just grabs it. Big, nice hand plant inverted style on that quarter pipe. 540 bar spin air. Well above coping. Losing a little bit of time trying to figure out where his line is here, though. The whip to deck grab going into that step down with the Benihana just dropping the foot there it's a dangerous it's a dangerous obstacle that one coming back up it he does make it up Benihana to inside can a little bit sketchy over the second box he's going to want to improve that for a second run as the flare whip does not the flare tuck I should say is not coming through another suicide tuck no hander but he's dropped the foot there and his final trick the hand plant can kick on the vert wall Solid run here from Tristan. We'll have to see his score after the few mistakes he did make. However, he does have a second run to come out here and crush it. And I'm sure he's going to take that opportunity without a doubt. There's that 540 bar spin. So high above coping. Very nice. Landed well in transition. The, the crowd favorite flip to Boggan. Tuck no hander. He's going to be looking at his score right now as it comes through a 60.33. 60 
So that puts them second to the bottom, fifth, fifth place. Just That's above. our first group more or less done. We're going to start straight away with the second group, I believe. So there's no time to waste here. Yes, sir. Cody Flom is up next. The happiest kid on the planet. His mom's very nice. Shout That's out to That's why Cody's I remember mom. him. He was always grinning. He was always, always. Absolutely. Nice thing to be remember, uh, remembered about, yeah? He's got a lot of uh, a lot of guts coming out here with uh, no sleeves. Yeah. All right, Cody Flom. Straight in with a straight up Cody Flom flip, triple whip. Back flip, in with Bry flip. Super clean with oh. the whip buttercup to back it up. He's going over the island, kickless, kickless, straight up and over. Ain't no worries on it. Huge whip front scoot to finger whip, something you do not commonly see. Backside air on the island hip as he triple tail whips the transfer. First time we've seen someone hit this today. Backside camp line as he goes for the step up. He's going to make it up. Makes yep. it over, no issues. Kickless Nicely. to late whip. A little bit of a case there, but he held on to it. Benihana over the hip as he comes through. Back to the spine. Finger whip triple, and here is the front flip. Whip rewind, kickless rewind. He sticks it, Cody <laughs> Flom. Everybody. That is a nice run right there from Cody Flom. I wouldn't be surprised if we see him getting up into the high 70s or even He is hyped. Look 80s. at him. He's so stoked. Big ups to Cody Flom. Happy to see him so, so pleased with this run. That was a very solid run. Very, very nice. <laughs> the whip rewind kickless in the front flip and the back flip inward. All that upper body strength tosses that scooter around like it's nothing. 88.33, oh there you go, goodness. he's your leader. <laughs> that Cody is going to be hard to compete with, Fantastic. he's going to be so happy. Look, Look at, at that. Him. I'm so happy for Look the guy. 88.33, this is going to make the competition so tough to compete with. I remember the scores last year, they were very close to the 90s, and the top three were up above the 85s. Big man Dylan Morrison up next. He was riding a bit impatient earlier on because they had that award ceremony. I was like, I want to get on. I want to get on. Absolutely. On. He's always very eager to ride. Here he goes. Dropping in. Dylan Morrison straight into the box jump this time. 360 leg wrap buttercup for his first trick of a comp run. You are joking. That was one of his web edit tricks. 360 triple bar spin across the box backwards. He is crushing it right now. A flail sticks it. 40 seconds left on the clock with the bry flip tail whip. Dylan Morrison absolutely murdering his run right now. Oh, a he flip. missed it. Hand plant. Not sure if his hand made contact, but it was close to it. He and missed it the looked hand plant, good. I'm pretty sure, but it looked great. There's that same 270 hand plant. 20 seconds. Could this be Dylan Morrison's year at glory? A flare tail whip. He's still not dropped the foot yet. This could be a flawless run with 15 seconds remaining on the clock as he's going to wind up, take a look, and he's heading over to the box section. He's daring to hit that box backwards. Inward tail whip. Just about going manual down the step. And a flare bar spin, absolutely wow. huge. Dylan Morrison just murdered his What a way to finish run. it. What a way to finish it he by is Dylan going Morrison. To be so hyped with that run. There was a lot of amplitude on that. His teammates are giving him mad props. An insane run from Dylan Morrison. Absolutely insane. Yeah, he just tagged it. Just tagged it. Right there, look at that. Fantastic. The amplitude was definitely there. I liked it. It was exciting to watch. And Dylan Morrison at the top of the 91.67. A 91.67 in wow. first place. Here's another defending world champion, Jordan, Jordan Clark. Clark. A double win two and three years ago. Come to defend or potentially take home another world championship right here. But a 91.67, he's going to have to contend with that. That's a massive score to build on here. Dropping in, hitting the step up first trick. Double inward up the step up. Probably the biggest trick you're going to see on that all day. 360 Bossman, Bossman with the flare whip straight over the channel gap. Here he goes into the box jump. Boss plant, what? double oh front Oh, my flip. God. The front side air as he goes back across the island. I know he wanted another flare trick on that back quarter, but just had to hold his run together. Flail whip with the fast plant. 
straight across the other channel gap. This man is transferring for days. There's the flawless boss spin over the transfer. Have not seen anyone hit that today. Jesus, 540 Jordan. flare boss spin. This guy is absolutely killing it right now. A buttercup air. It's so hard to keep up. Backside wall ride on the wall as he slows it down. Goes back up the bank. Whip front scooter. Packing in the tricks everywhere he can. Backside boss spin air. Hitting the rail. The first time we've seen the riders hit the rail today with the front side, board side. One second left. And he's going to throw a flare whip for the crowd at the end. Wow, my wow. goodness. Is that was it a going trick auction. It was insane. I know he wanted one more flare trick after the double front flip. So we're going to have to see if he can pull that out in the second run. But Where was he going to fit it in? I'm telling you, trust me, the man can do it. Check this out. The flare whip right over the channel gap. Haven't nice. seen anybody else been flipping that. No, sir. Here's the double front flip. Almost overcooked it a little bit. And I think he just wobbled on the transition at the end. He would have done a flare trick right there. Yeah, he was too far over to the he left hand side. He was too far to yeah. the left. A 93.33. What? Jordan Clark takes oh first goodness. place straight out of Morrison's hands and pushes Cody Flom back down to third, followed by John Marco Gatos with the 80s. And then the rest. This competition, I knew it would be fierce. Hey. I didn't know it would be this fierce. Leo Spencer from Bradford in England getting ready to drop in he's looking a bit nervous up there here we go dropping in hitting the step up again for his first trick whip rewind 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 on the step up straight <laughs> over the second this guy kills it bright flip buttercup first toss on the smallest quarter pipe there is at the skate park backside board slide down the rail as he gets his speed flare full whip whip oh my goodness that's a tail whip boss at the same time with the whip in the middle unless I saw it wrong I hope I didn't a hand plant on the vert wall. 30 seconds remaining. He's killing it. In winter tail whip. Over the spine. Straight to the box jump. Bar. Bry. Deck grab. Ah. To kickless. Landing at one foot. Still holding it together as he holds his speed. With 15 seconds left on the clock. He's going to slow it down. Back flip. Drop into the landing of the island. Into the back of the spine with a flail. But he sticks that one. 10 seconds left on the clock. He's going to wind it down. Head over to the bank. And go with the whip rewind over the transfer. Getting those transfers in. And then a whip butter to finish it off. That is time. Wow. Leo another. Spencer. Another auction. Another auction. And that is another tricks medical on tricks run on tricks. right there. Last year we saw, you know, we saw insanity. And this year, I don't even know what to call it. These are just way too many tricks. So much stamina these riders have. Here's the Bry Buttercup on the smallest quarter there is. Backside, board side. Respectable that the park riders are using the rail. They're making use of it, which is good to see. There it was, the flare full whip whip. Well, there's a reason why these top six riders that we've seen so far, well, at least uh, starting in uh, position number seven with Cody Flom, who uh, started the charge up the charts with an 88.33. And then see. it just went up from it there. It just went up from there. Leo Spencer scoring Leo Spencer, an 84. An 84. So the top six riders in our group from earlier on are definitely showing why they're up there. Chris Ferris. From the USA. And you got to remember, we're in reverse order right now. We haven't even got to the top yet. We haven't got to the best qualifiers yet. Chris Farris, front flip inward. Nice, clean, consistent backside air as he goes through the island. 360 bar spin, bar spin. Wanting to put another one on the end, no doubt. Quad whip over the spine backwards as he hand plants the vert wall. Back flip bar on the spine. Oh my, oh my goodness. goodness, taking a heavy slam. He traveled too far to the right on that flip. He got caught in the gap, hey? I'm surprised he's walking right now. He just does not give up. He said, no, I'm going to keep going. 540 flare. I think he's going to cut it yeah. there. It's probably a smart move. Depend on getting some points oh in the second Oh, my goodness. Run. That was a heavy fall. Definitely want to see that on the replay. <sighs> my goodness. The flip bar spin, he had it every go in, uh, every go in, in, uh, in practice. He knows, but he's got another run. Here's the front flip, inward bry flip, textbook. Scooter stays completely straight, just goes right around with his flip rotation. Perfect catch. How on earth do you learn that? How I, do you learn I that? I don't know, foam pits. And a lot of Red Bull. The glory be to foam pits then, my goodness. Chris Ferris clocking a 50.67, not surprising as he did not complete his run. So he's sitting in 11th place at the moment. That's dead last with one rider still to go. Rumit Selik from Estonia. The number one qualifier here today. This is going to be 
one for the books. The Estonian machine getting ready to drop. Here He's we go. a professional BMX rider also. He's a man of many talents, representing Phoenix Pro Scooters. About to drop in the number one qualifier, Rumit Selig, and favorite to win. Into the box section, 360 whip rewind, hitting that step down, tail whip, absolutely flawless down the step down. Huge backside flare, setting himself up for the step up. Superman, nice and clean. 360 downhill, just dropping a foot there, unfortunately. Keeps it going with the speed. Double downside tail whip over the channel gap as he goes a bry tail whip on the back of the spine. It was surgical right up until the foot dab. Yes, sir, with the feeble stall. 360 whip, bar spin, bar spin as he goes for a flip. Front flip, tail whip to tuck no hander over the box jump. Front side, lip slide on the quarter as he hits the island hip with a triple tail whip, setting up for the alley oop whip flare on the bank into the other hip with the whip rewind. Straight up the step up, heel whipping up that. Coming through to the quarter pipe, 540 whip air, and then he's going for the rail. Backside board, keeping it safe on the rail there, setting up for his last trick. After the buzzer, it's a 540 flare, and he sticks it. Only one foot touch in that run. I know he has more for the second. I'm assuming he's going to be happy with his first run score. It should be of a pretty decent number. However, he has more for the second. So, I'll be honest with you, though. I thought the run from Dylan Morrison, Jordan Clark were much more exciting to yes. watch. Although, just, yeah. you know, from, from a technical standpoint, you know better than I do that uh, Rumit Selig was probably... I can definitely agree. Dylan Morrison's run was something else it was something i've never seen from the man before he absolutely killed it what is the score going to be it's an 86.67 putting him so in, in fourth, fourth place yep. not a bad fallback however he definitely can't push it for the second all right so we're going to go back up to the top of our running order starting with spencer chirm side again and uh see if we can get some improvement in the second runs from the majority of these guys Spencer Chermslide's definitely going to want to step it up from his first run. A couple of falls, a couple of foot drops. Definitely not what he wants to be out here doing. There you see, standing so far, the top six with Jordan Clark on top with an immense score of 93.33. Right behind him from Melbourne, Australia, Dylan Morrison with a 91.67. And in third place, it's young buck Cody Flom, the happiest kid on the planet with an 83. 8.33 closely only followed by number one qualifier Rumet. Uh, only two guys though in the 90s at this point but Cody Flom and Rumet Selig not that far behind just biting at the toes no doubt so here we go P Spencer, Spencer Chermside. Chermside second run of Imagine Extreme Barcelona ISA World Finals it is the start of the second heats get hyped everybody stick around dropping in kickless no whip rewind kickless late whip flip double triple thing sorry over the box jump and he started off that end. extension as well that was a really sketchy yes, start he did one up his uh, spine trick at the start as well so that's something important to note coming back with that 360 over the island straight into the flare triple ah. going down he's going to be disappointed with that heading straight back across the park with 30 seconds left backside airing going towards the quarter pipe with the backside wall plant a lot of traveling Heading over to the box section. Seems like he's lost a bit of his Isn't motivation here. He's definitely lost his flow here. He's definitely going to be very disappointed with this. Eight seconds. He's going to call it. That's it for Spencer Chirm slide of 2018. Unfortunately, sometimes it happens. You come out and you got to throw it down on, on the line. And not everybody can take on first place. Unfortunately, it's just one of those things that happens. But big up Spencer Chirm slide. An insane rider, no doubt about it. Look at that whip rewind to kickless, kickless late whip. My goodness. But everybody, everybody gets a participation medal these days. Absolutely. <laughs> a 50.33 went down from his first run, unfortunately. All right, up next, Jaden Stanley from Red Bank Plains, Australia, 19 years old. His first run score was I feel like there? his I feel 76. honestly I feel like his first run score was definitely worth more than a 76 however if he comes out and does more than he did in his first I think his score is going to leap a lot higher hopefully dropping in Bospin double it Bospin once again 
Double heel to whip rewind to Kiglis, not quite getting it. He's going to have to fall back on that first run score unless he can pull out something absolutely nuts in the next 40 seconds. Dropping in as he comes up the bank, straight to the quarter pipe. Here is the Stanley Flair whip. Absolutely consistent, man. The cross foot, the inside cam plant, fast plant fronty, that is nuts. Double flare this time, going down on that yeah. one, unfortunately. Every fall costs time, energy, and points. Absolutely. Points are the most vital thing that you don't want to miss out on. Bry flipping on the bank there, backside, as he heads over to the step down, step up section. Flip drop into there as he goes down the step down into the quarter pipe with a nice inward backside air. Two I like his up. fight, though. I like his fight. I like he how didn't he, yeah. give up. Absolutely, absolutely. It's definitely one to call it when you know that you're not going to take home that gold, but to carry on, to carry on, sorry, and just keep it going for yourself, that's mad respect. Look at this, the Stanley Flare Whip. Ne I'll never understand this trick. You have to do super slow-mo reviews on that one to figure out how to get it yourself. And then Second run score, the 57.33 for Jaden Stanley. Next up will be John Marco Gados back for his second run. Jane Stanley currently ranked seventh. John Marco one spot above with an 82 on his first run. Dropping in, John Marco Gados. Holy Double huge. Double rip, rewind, rewind, late. 360, inward to Kickless as his second trick now instead of the banger, so you know he's going to step up that last trick. The buttercup as he goes with the fast plant over the box jump. More clean than his first transfer when he dropped the foot unintentionally rather than intentionally. There's a flared triple tail whip. Backside Bossman just packing in a trick every time his wheels leave the ground. Whip, rewind, triple whip back into the box jump. Nothing oh. front deck grab to whip. Absolutely clutched it. Whip front skew, whip on the quarter pipe with 20 seconds. Almost getting snaked by Todd, the commentator. Flare tail whip as he gets the backside inward on the island hip with eight seconds left. Is he going to make another box jump trick or he's going to get the 540 flare on the back of the spine? Full whip air. And that is going to be time for John Marco Gados. Finishing it off at the rail after the buzzer. Mad respect. He killed that run as that he did the solid. first. That was solid. Can he improve his first run score? I, I think highly, definitely. I highly doubt that he would not. He definitely stepped up. He had the banger trick as his second trick from his first run in his second. And then he stepped it up with another box jump trick to follow it up. Look at this. The nothing front deck grab to whip. Just tossing his scoot around like a toy. Insanity. There's the 360 in with to kick this you know he's got him on lock he's throwing him down in comp runs with ease he's made it into the 90 club he's made it in the 90 club currently in third place cody form pushed down one spot the two represent the same company it's going to be a very competitive mindset between the two cody form still has his second run for leeway can he push himself back into that top three speaking of comebacks Dante Hutchinson with a 63.33 on his first run. Can he pick up that world championship once again, or will the riding level be too intense? Let's find out. Dropping in straight to the step up. There's the bar twist, kickless rewind, cash roll over the second. You already know he's flowing over that hip. Flare downhill, clean and consistent. Whipping into the bank to get that speed towards the back quarter pipe. Got the bar to backside wall ride. Coming back through the skate park, up the bank. Was that a fast plant fronty tail whip? <laughs> 25 seconds left as he comes over to the spine. There it is, the whip kick Bry to whip rewind late. And then the summer flip, the sunshine flip. I don't know what it's called. And then the Mac flip boss spin. He's <laughs> absolutely crushing it. Such unique tricks that nobody is doing these days. You've seen flips. You've seen double flips. But you ain't never seen tricks like this. Absolutely not. Hitting the rail, backside, board yes. side. Crushed his run. Nice. Dante Hutchinson with a very solid second run. Let's find out his score in the next coming moments. Going to be very proud of this run. Very happy with it. There's that flare downside heel whip. Look at the catch. Bringing it round. No problems whatsoever. Here's the box jump trick. I believe it's the sunshine flip to whip. 
And the Mac flip bar spins so clean, so very nice. <laughs> Dante Hutchinson at 90.67. 90 wow. Putting him in third place and pushing down John Marco and Cody Flom into fourth and fifth. Dante is currently on the podium, but can Cody Flom create the upset? We're going to find out in a few more runs. Next up, however, is David Sinker with a 71.67 on his first run. Can this 14-year-old, the youngest competitor in the competition, bring it together, untwist full to, to rewind with the caper and flip whip. Inward bright flip bar spin this time on the back quarter as he comes through. Flip drop on the island. Nice, clean, consistent so far. 40 seconds remaining on the clock. With the 540 flare, this 14-year-old is crushing it right now. Unbelievable, the skill. This is insane. Bar spin, tail whip, bar spin. Just as clutch as he did it before. There's the flare bar spin. Coming back over the island. Setting up for that weird 270 hand plant. Looking super steezy. Something you never see anyone do. Downside kick of the slate. Whip umbrella on the bank. 15 seconds left on the clock with a one-foot look back, I think it was. 10 seconds remaining. Is he heading over to the box jumps? He is indeed. Whip rewind, rewind the first. Hitting the step down. Ooh, oh, just holding on to it on the step time. down. With the bar backside wall plant. He crushed his run, landed every single trick. Uh, and just goes down after the buzzer. He is so high. On the buzzer. That was a nice run. Representing Gizmania and Grit Scooters. Big ups to the man. David Sinkier. Look this guy up, man. 14 years of age. Imagine when he's two years, three years on. This guy is going to be the top of the podium without a doubt. All sorts of potential on the Scoot game. A 73. 73. That's not, a bit surprising, honestly. I couldn't agree with that, honestly. I thought that was somewhere in the 80s. It was a clean, consistent run. Good flow. Really good style, too. Tristan Anderman about to come up next. With a 60.33, Cody's pointing, you're, the, you're pointing at the wrong guy, man. All right. As he drops in, triple bar spin again over the box jump into the flip, toboggan. No tuck, no hander this time. Just couldn't throw it off. There's the Benihana making it look nice. Suicide, tuck, no hander over the transfer, hitting the box, uh, the spine jump backwards, sorry. Bar spinning out, not taking his feet off and running this time. Good to see. Flowing across the skate park, coming through to that step down, winding up for it. The Benny Hanna on the step down, my gosh. That's a daring trick. A huge steezy backside one footer air. Oh my goodness, <laughs> he's throwing stuff down that nobody's doing. Flair double tuck no hander as he goes for the back quarter pipe. Huge hand plant can on the back of the wall. Back over the island with another Benny and a flare whip on the bank just going down there right before the buzzer unfortunately yikes he done hurt his butt <laughs> he done done hurt his butt did he you actually say butt. that yo <laughs> tuck tuck oh yeah this guy's always doing tuck no handers grab tricks huge airs this guy kills it love his style something unique something you don't really see Next up, the moment we've been waiting for. Cody Could Flom. this be the tipping point of the entire competition? It's Cody Flom up for his second run next. Tristan Anderman dropping down five points with a 55.33. Could he create an upset? Representing Lucky, it is Cody Flom, the Currently happiest kid on the planet. In fifth place at the moment. He had uh, the top spot for the shortest time ever and then got dropped down. Dropping in, it's all going on the line. There's the Cody flip. Oh my gosh, was that like triple on the end? flip inward that was an extra whip on that spine trick without a doubt there's the whip buttercup absolutely huge kickless kickless late whip on the island instead of just the kicky kicky in his first run there's a whip run scoop finger whip he's got it every single go my friends coming through to the island double downside heel going for the transfer triple downside whip backside wall plant on the wall through the step up with the 360 he's holding on to it he's committed kickless late double whip he is absolutely killing this run right now. He wants the glory. He wants the gold. He's out here to get it. No touch so far. He's been Quad looking really good. over the spine. Whip rewind. Kickless. Oh, no! Going down on the last trick. But he's still the happiest kid on the planet, guys. It's Cody Flom. That could have been the moment right there. That could have been the moment. That's a bummer for Cody because that run was stellar. Look at this. Look at this. One, two, three. Four whips on the end, I swear down. <sighs> My gosh, I thought he might throw a whip on there, but still, he was just throwing.
in everywhere and you could take notice too. There's the whip butter so big and then the kickless kickless to late. Just thrown on there, man. He just packed it all in. <laughs> I think he's going to have to live with his run one score of 88.33. I think so. Sadly. If he goes up, it might be the very slightest. 87, wow. Just dropping down that 1.33 on the run score. If he had landed that last trick, he could have been in first. You never know. All right, Dylan Morrison. Dylan Morrison for a second run. I think he's going to be very high with his first. It's a good fallback, a good position to be in. But you know he wants that gold. He's a hungry rider. He wants it all. He wants the glory. And he's going to do his best to go out here and take it today. Dylan Morrison dropping in 55 seconds on the clock. There's the 360. Leg wrap to butter. My gosh, the web edit tricks. 360, Bospin, Bospin, Bospin. Once again on the box jump. Backwards, might I add. Flail on the quarter step back with the bright tail whip on the back of the spine. He's got the bar spin backside air as he comes over with a huge 540 flare on the back of the spine. Is he going to do the flip with the hand plant? There it is. Not quite getting that hand down, but making it look like he did. 23 seconds left on the clock. Still killing it. Oh, no, no. This is the hand down. plant. Went too high, and he's going to go down, but I think he's still going to be very pleased with the second run spot. <sighs> Marcin. Going just too high, just overcooking the speed on that wall ride. Just the tiniest bit. The run was going so well. He had added in that 540 flare and had the flip hand plant as well. But he's still going for the crowd. He ain't done yet. What has he got? A flare, bar spin, bar spin. Just going down, sending it for the crowd. <laughs> Posing up. Looking good, Dylan. Our fifth to last rider there from... Uh Melbourne, I think he's going to have to live with that 91.67 from so. run number one after that one just sort of fell apart on him. Remaining four riders, Jordan Clark, Leo Spencer, Chris Ferris, and Rumit Salik. My goodness, that 360 leg, leg wrap to butter is just insane. That was one of his web edit tricks, one of the toughest. He scored an 84 on that second run. No surprises there. We're going down twice. Still sitting in second place. Absolutely. But with four riders still to go. He might get kicked down. Let's see. You never see. know. You never Jordan know. Clark is in the top spot at the moment. Now, here's the interesting thing. Is even Jordan going to be pushing himself to get an even better score? Imagine him scoring a 95 at this point. What can he add to his run? Could it be the inward, the flare trick after his double front foot? Oh, he stacked he goes first down trick. And that's that. And that's that. Done and dusted. Let's hope he still clutches up the rest of his run. He's got that flare whip once again. He's not letting it phase him. Here he comes into the box jump. Fast plant, double front flip, oh. and get ready for it. Here's the flare inward bry flip. There it is. That's what he wanted in his first run. Had he got it in the first, it could have been a 95. It could have been even higher, but we will never know. There's that flail across the channel with the fast plant, the front flip 180 coming through the park. He knows he still has an extremely decent score, still sitting in first. Double flare, ah. double flare tail whip and a 540 flare to match it. Back ten seconds to, back. to go. In with Bry across the transfer with 10 seconds. Had he not have gone down at the start, this could have been a 95 plus run. Backside bar spin, he's going to go over to the rail. Front side, board side to finish it off. And that is Jordan Clark's two runs done and dusted. I say 2018. And he's hyped that he put it on. He's here to put on a show, and that's exactly what he did. Here is the double flare tail whip. Every try, man. He's got every go. Bar spinning the transfer. Almost dropping the foot there, unlike his first run, which was a flawless transfer. But the double flare. Jordan Clark with an 86. 86. Yeah. No expected. surprises there on the uh, very expected score there, like I said. All right. So Leo Spencer, Chris Ferris, Rumit Selig. Those are three guys that have a chance now to step it up. They gotta beat a 93-3-3 if they wanna take down Jordan Clark at this point. The pressure is on, there's a lot of catching up to do if you wanna be in that top three. Leo Spencer dropping in the whip, rewind, 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 almost getting tongue twisted there. There's a whip, rewind, finger rewind, more rewinds for days. Bry Butter on the quarter pipe, the smallest one of the park. Backside, board side with 40 seconds left on the clock coming through the flare full whip to double whip i think if i saw it correctly 
My goodness, he is killing it right now. Leo Spence, everybody, with 30 seconds left on the clock. He's got the hand plant backslide on the tall quarter. Inward tear whip across the spine. Bar, Bry, deck grab, oh. kickless rewind, sticks it. What was that trigger oh, no. the bow? Mac flip whip rewind to downhill, I'm pretty sure. If I saw it correctly, flip drop. If he hadn't have stacked, you never know. It could have been top three. With the flail, second stack, and there goes the points. But he's still hyped. Leo Spencer, everybody, throwing tricks you ain't never seen before. No matter who comes where, this is always a big step for Scootering. Scootering takes a big step every year because of this competition. The tricks that I'm seeing today, man, they got me gassed up. This is so good to watch. Look at this. I'm hoping we see this correctly. The flare, full whip, double whip. I I'm pretty sure it goes so fast. All right, two riders left. Dropping down Leo to a 78.33 there. Yep. Looking to improve from vastly here. From a Tescadero in the States. He had a big problem in his last run. Nitro World Games athlete, Chris Farris. Front flip, inward bry on the box. Textbook. Backside air coming through the island. Can he get the triple bar? No, he's going. 360 went front. Scoot this time. A big step up. Quad whip over the spine backwards. Sticking that with 40 seconds left with the backside hand plant on the vert. Flip bar bar. Oh, oh again. He's hit Same the same spot oh, again. Oh, my goodness. He almost got down there but just could not hold on. I think it was an interesting line he was trying to take there. He was trying to get very close to the right hand side so he could hit the right hand hip on the island but just could not. Hold on. Just went a little bit too far. 10 seconds left. Front side. Lip slide. Coming through to the rail. Front side Hurricane going down on that one too. He's not happy. It's Chris Farris, everybody. An absolutely insane rider. All not right. what he wanted here today. However, yeah, it's a bit of a tragedy for him, but there's only one guy left that can take down Jordan Clark at this point, and that is Rumit Selig. Chris Ferris ended up with a slightly higher score, 54 instead of a 50.67 there. And now for the final rider, it's Rumet Selig, currently sitting in sixth place with an 86.67. Is this where it is all going to change? We are about to find out the final run and the most intense the moment has come. After this run, we will be crowning and recognizing a new world champion for all of scootering. Question is, in. will it be Jordan Clark or will Rumit Sealy come knows? to the show? 360 double whip to downhill this time. Whipping down the step down. Huge backside flare setting himself up. I think he went a little bit flat there, but he still makes it up with the bar spin. 360 downhill, not dropping the foot there as he did in his first run. Coming through, double downside tail whip across the channel. There's the bright double whip instead of bright, instead of bright whip on the first. Clean feeble stall, not taking his feet off whatsoever. 360 whip, Bossman, Bossman getting a little bit wobbly. 720 Bossman. Oh Bossman my goodness, but he goes down. goes down. Oh no. And he's going to be so, so, so bummed. And that basically has written the book for today. That's absolutely it. Yeah, that's it. So Jordan Clark can he's be pretty happy at first up place there. At this point, yes. There's no chance for anybody else to make any change absolutely in not, the scoring. Guys. Jordan Clark is going to do it for his third time. 93.33 and Jordan Clark is going to be your world champion as we take a look back at the rerun, re, reruns from Rumit Salik. A fantastic attempt. Looking at that 360 whip, Bospin, Bospin. He just wobbled a little bit on the bottom of the spine, setting him up imperfectly for the 720 bar bar. A very good solid start to his run, but when he got that flare, it just went a little bit flat. I think that might have just put him off a little bit. But there it is. A 74.67. That yeah. means that Jordan Clark is your third time world champion with a 93.33 in his first run, followed by Dylan Morrison, first score run of a 91.67, and Dante Hutchinson clutching it up and bringing himself through with a 90.67. Third place, followed by John Marco, Cody Flom, and the number one qualifier at the time, Rumet Salik. Well, there you go. Results officially now. Jordan Clark does it with a fantastic score in his first run. Dylan Morrison, he came strong as well in his first run, 91.67. And Dante Hutchinson, the former world champion from last year,
in third place on the podium today, 96.7. So he's maintaining some consistency Absolutely. as a podium rider, and uh, nice to see Absolutely. those definitely, guys up at definitely. the top. But uh, big congratulations have to go out to Jordan exactly, Clark today. Exactly, exactly. you got to give mad props to Dylan Morrison coming out here and getting second hit today. He comes to World Finals probably every single year and has been qualifying since 2014 at Rush. He came second. This is the second time he's been on that podium, and he really threw it down. Jordan Clark soaking up the congrats. The mad props, everybody hugging, everybody waving, everybody celebrating. Yeah. Another world championship title right there As under the belt should. for Jordan Clark. Look at that, previous world champ, Dante Hutchinson, absolutely sharing the love with Jordan Clark there. That's what we want to see, the positivity, the love in scooter riding. We love to ride. That's what we love doing. Folks, we hope you enjoyed the men's scooter finals, the ISA world final here. Another amazing job by Scooter Brad. Thank you. Always welcome here. and uh, a really fantastic job. I got to give you really, really, really thank big you. props. Thank you. Thank you so much. How can people find out more about you? You guys, you can look me up. Just find me at Scooter Brad, S C W O T A B R A D on Instagram or just Scooter Brad. Normal word Scooter Brad on YouTube. That's the main social media of choice. I make YouTube videos quite often and I will be re uploading this video. Since you walked through the door, I've been trying to reach you because I feel. What's the story to tell? What's the story behind the mountain you're trying to climb? Think I've heard it before in a movie line. We can ride our own end in this time.